Good afternoon. My name is Tom. Uh, welcome back. Today's uh, video is going to be about the uh, truth about an emergency fire. What would you do in the North Main woods in January when it's six feet of snow on the ground and you're on a snowmobile that is broke down, whether it be at nine o'clock at night or midnight or at five o'clock in the afternoon and it is dark. So this is a, a video about the, the truth about an emergency fire. And I'm really putting this video together uh, for my two grandsons. I want them to have this so that uh, as, as they grow, uh, they can look back on this and maybe, maybe uh, you know how kids are, they won't get it right now, but maybe they'll get it in a few years. Or you know how that all works. So anyways, uh, I'm standing next to a white birch tree, as you can see here. And the thing that you should be doing as you travel through the North Main woods is if you come across a fire source, uh, like this white birch bark, we happen to have uh, a lot of it, uh, stop and, and, and grab yourself a handful of it and put that in your pocket. That's all it takes, just one little handful. Put that in your pocket. Now I put it in my pocket, I also carry a uh, fire bag with me and what that fire bag is I will show you this fire bag is a pant leg off a off wool pants wool pants are appear to me uh, number one in the in the main woods I took a cut a foot off the bottom of an old pair sewed it together put a little drawstring at the top it makes two purposes everything in my pack is two purposes if I would like a pillow I have a pillow. I can stuff this full of grass, I can stuff this through uh, fur boughs, whatever, but normally it's full enough anyways because I stop and grab birch bark on a regular basis. I grab, we're gonna go down here a little bit further, you'll see some cat cattails behind me. If you walk by a patch of cattails in the winter time, that's the only thing that's tall enough in the winter to stick up above the snow, if you have any luck at all. So you can grab a fistful of that, stick them in your fire bag, and then this goes inside of my pack or inside of my haversack. So uh, I'm going to move on down the trail, grab a few more things, and then I'm going to show you how you build a true emergency fire in the North Main Woods in January. Welcome back. This is my swamp. I like to call it my swamp anyways. I'm a swamper. I'm not a mountain guide. <laughs> I'm a swamper. Give me a swamp. I can find food. I can find shelter. Uh, every animal in the North Main Woods searches out a swamp. This is where they live. This is where they, this is just plain where they hang out. So this is why swamps are so important to a woodsman in the North Main Woods. But as you can see, there is absolutely plenty of cattails. Now I'm not interested in that puffy thing on the top. I think that is the worst thing for fire building. What I am interested in is all this dead dry stuff on the ground. And the reason I like it is because in the winter time, sometimes it sticks up far enough that you can find this for a nest material. Whereas other things are buried under several feet of snow. So I am going to go out there, harvest some of that, put that in my haversack, in my fire bag, and then we will move on to the fire pit. Welcome back. This right here is a tree that is full of raw punk wood. And even, this is something else that if you spot a tree like this, standing up in the winter time, whether it be a six foot stump or a 10 foot stump, uh, as long as it is soft and squishy and dry, this right here is another one of them tinder sources that you should pick up because this will light with a match or with a lighter. Remember, we're dealing with an emergency fire. We're dealing with a fire that, that you need to get together because it's after dark and there's no way that you're making it back to shelter tonight. So this is another one. If you walk by this on a hiking trail, or just out scouting. This is another one of those things that is real easy to put a fistful of it in your pocket or in your haversack or in your fire bag. You can get it with a hunting knife 
or most of the time I am carrying this axe almost everywhere that I travel. And it's just a matter of going in there and whacking out a small piece of it. You can see that it is really squishy and uh, just perfect, perfect uh, punk wood. So I am going to move on now uh, to the fire pit and, and we're going to light an emergency uh, flint and steel fire. Alrighty, and, and this is one of them things that we each and every one of us should know how to do when we're in the North Main woods. Your cell phone is not an emergency fire builder. Your cell phone in this state, nine times out of 10, will not work when you need it to work. So do not count on your cell phone to be your plan B in the state of Maine. Alrighty, that's why it is a must for you to learn how to build an emergency fire at five o'clock at night so that you can save your life and not risk the lives of others coming to rescue you in the middle of the night in the main forest. Welcome back. I'm at the uh, fire pit now and I am going to build an emergency fire. What you would do in the North Main woods if the snow was six feet deep, your snowmobile broke down and it is five o'clock at night and there's no way in H-E-double-L that you are making it back to shelter tonight. So you're going to need to make an emergency fire. You're going to make a, an emergency shelter. I will do a follow-up video on this and put a link in the bottom to a emergency shelter that you need the first night in the North Main woods. But this video is about an emergency fire and I will be using a flint and steel for this emergency fire. The only flint and steel that you should be using in the North Main woods on a snowy cold night in January. Hey, where the heck have you been? Alrighty, I am over here at the fire pit now. You saw earlier in the video that this is my uh, fire bag. It is a pant leg off some wool pants. I don't know if I said it earlier, but the wool helps to keep all the tinders in here dry uh, because it wicks moisture away from them. All right, so all I have done is reached into my little, my little fire bag here and pulled out the white birch bark that we collected. I'm going to lay this up here. Remember, this is an emergency fire. So you can build it as, you can put as much bark in there as you need to. Alrighty. Now, remember I said, this is going to be an emergency flint and steel. Here's my flint. Here's my steel. I mean, yeah, here's my, here's my steel. Here's my flint. Alright. Now, I said emergency. This is not the emergency tool for building an emergency fire. This is for fun. It is a lot of fun. I love building fires with flint and steel, but this is an emergency fire. This is for fun. This is not it. What I have in my pocket is the other flint and steel. This is a flint and steel. This is a flint and steel lighter. This thing will light in any weather. It's really good on not blowing out. And it's and uh, this is the flint and steel for an emergency fire. Alrighty. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna light a piece of birch bark with it. Should have had this ready, sorry. But anyways, I've got my flint and steel lit. I'm lighting my my uh, my birch bark. This is Maine. We have lots of birch bark. And now I am starting my emergency fire. That's what this is, an emergency fire. With the true flint and steel for after dark in the North Main woods. I hope I haven't run on too long, but I wanted to stress in this video uh, in the North Main woods how you build an emergency fire. Do not rely on your cell phone up here. It is a very large state. A big portion of it is not covered with cell phones. If your cell phone is your plan B, you have no business being in the North Main woods. 
I am sorry for that, but that's exactly how I feel. You should come out, practice your craft, get to where you can do this, and then go into the North Main Woods in January when there is six feet of snow. So, thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, leave a comment. I realize not everyone will like what I've had to say today about cell phones and all that. But uh, in this state, uh, it, it, I really feel that you shouldn't risk the lives of others to uh, come rescue you uh, because you entered the North Main Woods uh, unprepared uh, for what's up there. I want you to be prepared. I want you to enjoy this state. It is huge. It is beautiful. And there is lots and lots and lots of stuff to see. So come visit. Be prepared. Enjoy the state. White birch bark is everywhere up here. So. I hope you liked the video, hit the like button. If you like the channel, send us a little bit of love, hit the subscribe button, and I will come to you with more videos like this from the North Maine woods of Maine. Welcome back. Uh, I, I appreciate you tuning in for today's video. This is going to wrap up the truth about an emergency fire uh, in the North Maine woods. I realize I made fun of, of, of some things, but. I thoroughly enjoy flint and steel, uh, primitive method, but I also realize that there are times when the primitive method and emergency fires are totally different. Uh, same thing with a cell phone. I just, I, I made fun of the cell phone a little bit. Uh, the purpose for that is that this is a huge state and there are times that I've been in the North Main Woods uh, for an entire day, if not two days uh, scouting. Uh, in, in huge areas up there with no cell phone service at all whatsoever. Uh, not even enough to get out a text message, which sometimes you can do that. So that's why a little poke there at the cell phones. Uh, but it truly, learn, learn your craft, come out and practice, enjoy the state of Maine. Uh, it is a great place to learn this craft. Uh, we have lots of really good woods that have tinders and uh, several, several, several ways to learn how to build a fire. Uh, in the North Main Woods. So again, I am I am appreciate you tuning into the channel and uh, send us a little bit of love by uh, hitting the subscribe button, uh, hit a like button, and I will bring you more videos like this uh, from the North Main Woods of Maine. And the North Main Woods is a place. It's not just the North. It's not just Maine. It is the North Main Woods is a place. Look it up. It's an awesome piece of woods. 150 square miles at least, could be more. Uh, I have been hunting and fishing that terrain uh, since I was a little boy. So uh, enjoy, I will see you on the next video.